Fungi as an organism exists predominantly as mycelium. Mycelium is a web underneath the ground of interlocking threads called hypha. They're thinner than strands of human hair. When conditions are right, hypha come together and form the mushroom. In recent years, a lot of us are learning more about what fungi can do and who they are. It's amazing the kinds of solutions that they're offering to us humans. Oyster mushrooms are an incredible edible mushroom that can create low-cost, dignified housing, food security, and agricultural jobs all in one. One of the examples is this project called Biohab, based in Namibia. It all starts with the acacia mellifera bush, which you can see here is a very thick bush that's actually choking wildlife refuge and natural aquifers throughout the country. If we harvest this shrub, it allows the native grasslands to regrow and these grasslands feed cows and antelope. The blackthorn is actually a fantastic substrate to grow mushrooms on. The oyster mushrooms also provide a source of income and food for these farmers. The waste that's created from the oyster mushroom cultivation process are pressed and they're baked. And the material that comes out of that is similar to this here, a very dense composite. These blocks can be used as building materials. This is a humble example of how one single mushroom can be a huge inspiration for the building industry at large, as well as for regenerative agriculture. Artist conch is another really powerful mushroom being used to look at sustainable forms of mycomaterials or materials made by using mycelium. A company that's doing awesome things with mycomaterials is Ecovative. They've been looking at how can we make sustainable materials that can replace plastics or hazardous materials in our environment. Mycelium is grown in very particular specific ways in labs to help create new materials that can be used for leather, for packaging, for sustainable building materials. Mycomaterials are really going to change how industries can become sustainable and have much less toxic waste generation. Another mushroom that has profound ecological impacts is the garden giant mushroom. Studies have shown that this fungus has the ability to filter antibiotic resistant bacteria that, that lives in waterways and wetlands. It's very important to have clean and clear waterways or else the bacteria goes into our water supplies, affects nature and people. So porcini mushrooms are another goddess in the fungal kingdom. The porcini is an example of a mycorrhizal fungi, myco meaning fungus, rhizal meaning root, because of its unseen ways that the mycelium are connecting to tree roots. The mycorrhizal relationship is a trade relationship where the fungus gives the tree roots nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen and water, and the tree gives the fungus sugars that it creates from photosynthesis. This is a very ancient and ubiquitous relationship around the planet and makes trees and forests able to withstand pathogens, bug infestations, large fluctuations in temperature and climatic stressors. Fungi are showing us new ways to live in allyship with the planet. These examples are all very different, but they demonstrate one thing, which is how fungi are so essential for the resiliency of our planet.